Dear friends of PrimeView, welcome. In this video, we will go through the PrimeView theme designer. As you know, PrimeView is design agnostic. It doesn't dictate a certain style like Mattel, Bootstrap, and Fluent UI. We have a couple of themes uh, for those, plus we have our own themes like Prime One themes, Soho, uh, Viva, you know, Mira, and Nano, a couple of themes. So that's actually one of the most powerful features of PrimeView because you can just switch a certain style to another style but for with other libraries you have to rewrite your application with that library for example if you like to switch from um, beautify to what was that react uh, bootstrap view and that means switching from material to bootstrap you need to re rewrite your entire application but with prime view you can just change one line of css and that would be the theme file Okay, now once you purchase Prime View Theme Designer, you will get a zip file that's actually a VUCL application. I have exp um, extracted it and run npm install. Now let's run npm serve and that will start um, the designer. Default mode of designer is visual mode where you can choose your uh, theme you, you can create your own theme with the with the UI with the color pickers and things and we also have the code mode in the code mode you have access to the full CES variables and it, with the documentation of course so that if you have some advanced use cases like your own style guides you would probably need the code mode but if you like just to you know customize the code colors and if you feel that you're good to go then the visual mode would be fine Let's choose a base one, let's say Prime 1 uh, default, uh, that's the Saga Blue actually. We also have Material, Fluent, so and Bootstrap as well. So, for example, let's start with the, with the generic one. Of course, let's, for example, change the primary color. And that's the highlight. Let's change highlight as well. And we have the forms, backgrounds, borders for uh, input surfaces are for uh, panel components and table. And we also have the, these are the ones exposed to the visual UI. Of course, with the code mode, you have access to everything. And let's say, maybe borders can be a bit more strict more uh, definite let's say and the focus border could be again more or less the same color and the hover border could be somewhere between anyway the idea of this um, video is not about creating a nice looking theme it's just creating a theme okay now since our theme is ready uh, you, we can just go and download it from here and it will download it also if you feel like you'd like to start from uh, fresh you can choose let's say a material theme the material theme I mean, the material design has certain rules anyway, so we've just exposed colors. In the primary color, let's say we can do the same for, um, for the material theme. And so on. I mean, the same story. You just need to download it, the theme file and you just need to include it in your application. Okay, now let's switch to the code mode. For that, we need to go to the mvile, m file, and that's the environment file, and just change it to the code. So the view app editor would be code. This one is the you know service that generates the themes for us. It's online. Let's run it again and see how it looks. Now there's a theme, you know. All the themes are available here from the premium themes like the Viva, Soho, um, Mira, and Nano are, are here as well. Plus, 
all the SAS code on all full variable lists of the Material Themes Bootstrap. As you know, the Prime View provides the generated CSS of these themes. Uh, but if you get the Prime View Theme Designer, you will get full access to, uh, let's say, all the variables for you to customize. Plus, you will get full access to the license for the premium themes that we've created, like Soho, Viva, and others. So, let's see what happens here. Okay, now the visual palette is gone. It's just the, um, just the UI. Now, that's a theme called My Theme, and you have the variables here. I mean, you might be confused because there are a lot of variables, like the data variables. I mean, we have highlighted them here, uh, but also if you, if you go to the Prime View website, there's a SES API here where you can just, for example, if you need to do something with the paginator, let's say changing the paginator background, uh, you can just check out the variables. They are searchable and there's an online documentation here. And of course, uh, let's say, let's keep it simple for the code editor as well. I'm just going to move it here. I will just change some colors. Um, let's say primary color can be, we can add some purple here. I've just changed the primary color. As you can see, once you do a change in the code mode, the, the page has reflects the, that, that change. And let's go to the inputs. Here, input background, um, input borders. Maybe we can make it. I mean, if you have the VS Code extension, you can also choose your colors like this and they will be reflected so it's quite nice the visual editor doesn't really go into the details of paddings for example if you'd like to change the paddings to make them bigger we can use extend uh, enhance them so that i can get some bigger um, inputs and for example if you'd like let's see what we have for the table Table header cell padding or table header padding. Let's make them uh, bigger. So for sizing, you have full access to everything. Um, and there's also a nice thing called extensions. If you see something that you're not able to do with the variables, you can always do extensions. For example, I'm going to uh, write an extension here for um, for the buttons, you know, uh, P button, text transform, uppercase. And now, you know, there is no variable for button font, you know, transform. There's, there's nothing like this because it's not a common case. But for those kind of things, this is your, this, you can go freestyle here. You can just um, write any kind of CSS. In fact, I have, used these extensions features a lot when doing the material themes because material themes are just kind of different than you know regular themes there are a lot of different rules so i've really used uh, the material uh, uh, extensions feature plus uh, you also have the fonts so if you like to customize your fonts you can just uh, drop in your fonts files here and reference them here for example let's see what i've done at the soho uh, the Soho uses a Lotto um, font, so they are here, and there's also the fonts folder where the font files are located. So once it's there, I can just go to the variables folder and say font family is Lotto, so that the theme uh, uses the Lotto theme. So you can create your own fonts. You can customize everything related to the Prime View. You can customize the material themes, the built-in themes. You have full access. Plus, if you're just, I mean, you can also do some, um, make your theme file. Um, if you use a theme designer, your theme file can be optimized because right now the themes, although they're not really giant files, they, uh, 
Although you're not using, for example, certain component, the style for that component can be there. So if you'd like to purge that, you can just um, uh, purge it here and remove it from the lists. For example, um, here in the designer components, you can just remove whatever, you, or you, your, you can comment out so that your theme file can be smaller. Okay, now in the code mode, uh, once you have your uh, theme, you can. There are a couple of ways to include it. I mean, you can just build it with your um, with the SAS command. Um, let's see how it is. Or you can just include that into your um, UCLI or White or you know U application. For example, in the code mode, you can just compile it with the SAS command. Or as I mentioned, you can let UCLI do it if you. Um, if your application can, you know, load SAS. So remember that in the visual mode, I have uh, downloaded a theme. So let's use it in Prime View Showcase. Okay, that's the one here. I'm going to remove the default theme and I'm going to download, get the theme, you know, the, the new purple one. Let's uh, put it somewhere here in the styles let's call it my theme and let's go to main.js and call my theme and run npm serve so what i did what i i have uh, i was using the visual mode i downloaded it from the app if you're using the code mode you can build it yourself with the search command or you can get the designer and integrate it in your application and you can just uh, let UCLI or white do it. So in my case, I usually, I think that, I mean, team designer is really useful if you share it among different projects. Suppose, it, suppose that in your, in your organization you have like 10 or in your applications, you have 10 different applications and you can just distribute the theme file um, in your you know private repo or somewhere and that you can because you can just uh, import this CSS from the node modules as well you know you can just package it uh, put it in your private repo and just uh, distribute it among different projects easily okay now let's see how it turned out I think it seems to be working because this is the one I have created um, list box, maybe, you know, it works. And I don't, uh, did you know that we have also customized input text, you know, they are more, the, the, the thickness uh, of the color is more um, clear. It's a more darker gray. And that's it. So, Advantages of Prime View Theme Designer, you have, let, let me summarize. You have full access to um, the SAS code um, because the Prime View itself only ships the output of these themes, just, you know, a chunk of CSS that is compiled. So it's not really the easiest, useful, easiest way to customize it because if you like to just change the color, then you just need to do it many, many times. Um, but with the theme designer, it's the proper way, it's the ultimate tool. Plus, you get uh, the premium themes like Soho, um, Viva, Mira, and Nano, and time to time we provide new premium themes. Plus, you get the full size code for all the free themes like Indigo, um, the material ones, the Fluent UI, and so on. You can easily customize fonts and almost everything. If you have your own style guide, then Prime View Theme Designer is, is the way to go. I mean, you can live without, of course, the, the, without the Prime View Theme Designer. If you're just happy with the, uh, you know, the built-in themes, if you have some small um, um, adjustments, then, of course, you can just overwrite the CSS. But, I mean, if you, you might find yourself in a position where it becomes a tedious task. So that's where the designer comes in. It's, it makes it a piece of cake to create your own themes and uh, it's easier to maintain as well. So, 
I uh, hope you like this video and just uh, all Prime View team designer is also available online. Just don't forget to play with it and uh, try to come up uh, with a theme that's more, that's better than what I did. Thank you. See you on the next one.